Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can tell, I am currently in the car driving because as always, wait for it, you're gonna be surprised. I'm running late. I'm on my way into town to meet my friend Rachel. We're going for a coffee. I'm meant to be meeting her at two and it is eight minutes to two. I will get into town in eight minutes. However, however, your gal is trying to save money. Thus, she's gonna park at Morrison's because it's free parking for three hours. And I got charged 10 pound parking the other day. So I'm gonna park at Morrison's, which will make me late, but Oh, let me just clean those, that window because I can't see. Um, which will make me late, but only by about five minutes because I get my walk on, I'm a fast walker. But I also need to try and not sprint because this makeup needs to last me until like 10 p.m. this evening. Do you want to know why? Yes, you do. I'm going to the theatre. Me and Mama Whitmore are going to the theatre in London. I've been very kindly gifted a theatre trip. Um with Hampstead Theatre, so we're gonna go and see that. We're seeing Sons of Profit, which is super exciting. But I knew I didn't wanna have to rush my coffee with Rach, so I was like, I'll do my makeup before I go. I've also kind of half done my hair. I'm wanting to pull the fringe out tonight. I'm wanting to pull the fringe out, and I haven't done it yet, because I knew I was, one, running late, and two, um, I will put in some pictures of what my fringe looked like the other day before and after I left the hotel room. Um, it was given sexy, it was given very sultry, very, oh yeah, no makeup but fit as fuck vibes. To, has this bitch ever heard of a hairdresser? What the shit is on her head and has she washed her hair recently? In literally the space of 10 seconds. So I decided not to do my fringe just now because I knew I was gonna have to get my shimmy on walking from, um, oh, I'll let you go, I'll be nice. Cause your car matches my hair, which I am loving by the way. When I, I knew ombre wasn't me, I knew the blonde was not Sophie Whitmore, but I kind of got on with it. And when it was freshly done, it looked all right. And obviously I just let it grow and grow because I was not about to pay to get that redone when I didn't want it in the first place. And you know when you're just like, I know I've only had my hair this colour a week, but I literally look at those pictures and I'm like, who the fuck was she? My whole personality just like disappeared. As if I started being like a soft girl aesthetic with little bows in my hair, which I do still like to be fair. I do think it's still cute, but this is so much more me. This hair is so much more my personality and I'm absolutely loving it. However, I did notice some little brown patches earlier, so I might have to go over it again with another dye. And it keeps fucking coming out every time I wash my hair. My towels are getting stained and I'm a slut for sleeping with wet hair. I know you're not meant to do it, but if my hair can dry overnight, I'm gonna fucking let it. However, I don't wanna do that because the dye is gonna come off onto my pillows. But I've got so off track right now. I'm gonna go get out the road. What is it with pigeons? British pigeons have a death wish. Anyone would think they can claim fucking compensation if they get run over. They just sit there. Oh, but anyway, I'm gonna go meet Rach. We're gonna have a nice little coffee, a nice little catch up. We meant to go into London today, but there's been train strikes and there's just a lot going on. So we decided to leave it and just go for a little coffee to our favorite place, Gales. I think, I'll have to double check with her. I'm pretty sure Rach got onto Gales because I was always going to Gales and raved about it. And now she's Gales obsessed. I think she actually goes more than I do because I've not been really prop. Do you know what? Since I left my old job, I haven't been going as frequently as I used to. Partly because of the pay cut and partly because I just can't fit in a girl's morning before my like 7 a.m. flight, you know? Um, but yeah, she absolutely loves girls, so we're gonna go there. I guarantee, I'm gonna bet myself five pound. I don't really know how that works, betting yourself, but I guarantee Rach is gonna indicate, you fucking cheeky little gun. Don't grin at me like that when you didn't indicate in your little fucking, I don't, now someone pulled out on me. What is going on with drivers today? Do you not know I'm in a rush to get to Giles? Um, to be fair, the guy in front's old and I feel bad for beeping him, but he has a death wish because if I was a boy racer or something, I would have accidentally killed him. I would have accidentally fucking knocked into him because I would have been going so fast. Silly, gosh. Uh, but his hair, his car also matches my hair color. So we'll let him off. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something very important before someone didn't indicate before someone pulled out on me. I don't know, but on a separate note, I've just seen someone wearing a long black like puffer coat. I want one, I really want one. And the Suda Boutique has one for 75 pounds. 
and I just can't justify £75. And then I saw one on TikTok shop for £35, and I'm like, bitch, you're parking in Morrison's to save three quid. You are not to go and spend £35 on a coat when you own enough coats. Oh, fuming. But anyway, me and Rach, oh, that's what I was going to say. I guarantee Rach will get a ham and cheese croissant. Mark my fucking words. If she doesn't get one, I'm going to be baffled, discombobulated. I'm going to be bamboozled, bazookled, commononucled. That's not even a word, but it is now. Oh, thank God I'm not going that way because there is some traffic. I have a little routine where I'll normally park at Morrison's and go for a sunbed. But because I've done my hair and makeup, I'm obviously not going to go for a sunbed because I ain't about to sweat all this off. I'm sweating already and it's minus three degrees. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of sad that I'm not going for a sunbed. But also, I didn't want to have to rush my coffee. It's taking me fucking six minutes to get here. It's two minutes to two. Two minutes to two. That sounds very angel number. I'm going to take that as a sign and I'm going to search what it means and I'll let you all know. But I'm actually going to leave my camera in the car because I didn't bring a bag. So I hope no one sees me put this away because I've not got the time to one, lose this six minutes worth of footage, two, have my car broken into, or three, make a fucking insurance claim. Right, so the guy who pulled out on me has just let someone go. So you do know the rules of the road and how to be nice. Bless him. I can't be mean to old people. He probably, maybe he's in a rush. Maybe Doris is sat at home. She's like, got the sniffles and she's like, Victor, I need, why is this person parked like that? That is so fucking rude. They've parked like, so the spaces go like this and they've parked like this, like across them. Like they've parked landscape when they should be parking horizontal. So yeah, um, I look so nice today. If I do say so myself. I just fucking love my hair. I'm just a new and improved bitch. There's so many people in Morrison's car park. Are you all doing what I'm doing? You're just parking it. Have I even parked in the lines? I don't fucking know if I have, but I'm not about to check because that's embarrassing. If I'm not going to park in the lines, at least do it with confidence. Anyway, let me chuck my coat on because it is bastard cold. I've just really tried like setting up my camera so it doesn't fall with like duct tape and stuff. And that, well, masking tape. Well, parcel tape none of the others i knew it i knew i was saying the wrong thing and um now i'm gonna have to rip it off and put you in my glove box although now i'm a bit paranoid because there's so many people in here oh, oh. and obviously if rach gets a ham and cheese croissant i want to take a photo of it but i would do that with my phone i don't know right let me take you off i am this angle is horrendous hello um I'm leaving now to go and get a coffee with Rachel because I'm meant to be there exactly right now. So I am going to vlog off my phone. I feel confident in the fact that I won't get robbed, but I do need to check my parking. Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Guys, so I decided to take my camera out with me anyway because I feel like there was too many eyes watching me. I've got you from a really awfully low angle because it's busy and your gal's still not used to vlogging in public. The theatre's been cancelled. So guess who's not going to the theatre anymore? This gal. So now I just look pretty for no reason. But never mind. I'll just have a chill night in. Guys, guess who's not going to the theatre? Me. Also, all my lipsticks come off. I promise I've not been snogging rage. We just had, um, who do I think I am doing that little cheeky wink? I cannot fucking wink. I've just cringed internally at myself. I literally got out of the car. I did actually film it, but the angle was just ridiculous i'm not even gonna put that clip in it was from like right down here it was just pure chins a thousand chins and then my eyes they emailed me and were basically like we're really sorry due to unforeseen circumstances this evening show has been cancelled which is a shame but it also means that we don't have to drive into london so it's not the end of the world but it does also mean i have a full face for nothing so i think i'm gonna do a bit of a content evening i've got an ad that i need to shoot I've got two ads that need to kind of be done, but one of them hasn't arrived. And I'm like, I can't do this ad without the product. Do you get what I mean? How am I meant to promote something that you can't see? So yeah, I think I'm gonna do an ad. I've got a gin ad to do, so I'm gonna do that. Also means that I can then drink the gin this evening. Or I might go bowling with my dad, which I don't think is gonna happen because I text him on a whim. He's not a very last minute type of guy, so I don't think that's going to happen, but it might do. Who knows? But I'm going to do that. Gail's was absolutely lovely. I owe myself five pounds because Rach did get a ham and cheese croissant and there was one left. It was so perfect. I was so happy for her because I was like, I know you love these. 
um but it was so nice seeing her we just had a catch up we did a little bit of shopping look what i got so i got these pajamas from primark which were 14 pound i then went into m&s and they had some in there for 15 and i was like i would much rather spend my hard-earned money on m&s quality over primark but i also was not about to walk back to primark to return them and then look at this skirt isn't it so cute and Christmassy? It was eight pounds. Eight pounds in TK Maxx. Fucking bargain. So I'm very chuffed with that. Very chuffed indeed. And I think I've done all my Christmas shopping too. I did an Amazon order last night and I think that is now everyone done. I say everyone done, I've literally bought two people presents. So yeah, me and my sister decided not to bother doing presents this year. We're just gonna do like a spa day in the new year or something. Actually, I need to get my dad something. So i have one person to shop for i don't know what to get him but i'll work something out but yeah that's my little catch up and if there's anything else interesting that happens this evening you'll see this face again i'm kind of hoping that i check something else in i might roll this vlog into tomorrow purely because the main part of this vlog is now not happening which was the theater so yeah right my stomach's making all sorts of noises so i'm gonna go but i'll see you in a bit so guys it's the next day i literally didn't end up doing much last night i just Took a load of content and sat on the sofa, had a hot chocolate. And that was my evening. Um, but today I'm going out into Guildford with my mama to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. So I thought I could bring you along with that. I'm not too sure. I never really know what to do with these bangs. I'm going to be honest. I just feel like when i can't be asked to do a fringe they're just instantly the biggest regret of my life so there's that and if i tie these long bits up then it just looks so stupid so i really don't know what to do right now <laughs> that look cute You know when you've just got no makeup on and you're like, no matter what I do, it doesn't look right. That's me today. I feel like... Guys. <sighs> I just can't today. I just can't. Do I just scrape it all back? Do you know what? I'm just going to tie it up and whatever falls out, falls out. And then I'll work with what hair falls out. I think that was the best bet in this situation. I look so pale. So pale. I need to go on another sunbed today. Because I haven't really been keeping up with the sunbeds recently. Right, then this is what's going to fall out. I need to stop getting ready in front of the mirror because I feel like my neighbours walk past and they're like, what is she doing? Just standing in her mirror, watching us all. I'm not watching you, Susan. I'm watching myself in my mirror. I'm currently watching my neighbour, Dice's car. I wonder if he can hear me. I hope not. That'd be embarrassing. And then what am I going to do here? I need a coffee because my personality right now is just dead it's just not human does that look nice probably not i feel like i'm gonna have to put a splash of makeup on which is i was gonna try and avoid but this just <sighs> that's it i'm not going do i try and do something like this I'm going to go with no. Okay, so I think we're just going to go like this because I just can't seem to make anything work. It's just one of those days where it's just, I'm just going to have to go like this. Guys, my mum's exact words were, do you want to pop into Guildford at half ten this morning? It's now like half four and I basically just got home. I am tired and I've done nothing that I was meant to do today, but it was also a really good day. So there's that. But I thought I'd show you what I got. I hit up Hollister and Zara. So starting with Hollister, 
to be fair my mum was actually super kind and she got me these things which i wasn't expecting she just at the till was like i'll get them and i was like damn girl treat me so i got this little nude top because i feel like i don't have enough basic tops like i don't yeah i just have no basic tops so i got this and then i got this really cute dress which i think might actually be a bit too big for me because it's a size large but it was the only one they had and there's a bit of a loose thread on it but i really liked it so we sh we shall see i'll have to try it on wow my camera battery is flashing so i'm gonna have to make this haul quick bras from marks and spencers nothing too exciting socks from marks and spencers i need them for work and then from zara I got another basic top, just this nice cute white one. The same again in black. These said like $5.99 on them. And um turns out they're $7.99. They do literally say $7.99 on them. Where the hell's the tag for this? Who knows? But then I also got this really cute. It's kind of like a midi maxi skirt type thing. So I got this. This waistband does like fold and it's really annoying, but it was only £17 and I really want a long skirt, so I treated myself. And then this top to go with it. Very cute. So overall, very successful shopping trip. I am very chuffed. I feel like I got nothing that I needed, but everything that I wanted. So that was successful. We also went for a coffee at this really cute coffee place. I think it was called like Couture Coffee or something. No, it wasn't. What was it called? I don't know, but it was an independent owned coffee shop and it was so nice. I think I got like a 0.1 second clip of it. So I'll pop it in here if I did film that. But yeah, I think we're just going to go and eat some pate, lounge on the sofa. I need to edit the ad that I filmed yesterday because I go to San Francisco tomorrow, which will be featured in a big America travel vlog, which will be coming soon. I don't know when because I don't know how much of it I'm going to, because I don't know how many trips I'm going to put into it. But keep your eyes peeled for that. But my camera's literally going to die. So I'm going to say goodbye here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Sorry that this vlog literally didn't turn out to be anything that we thought it was going to be it i don't even know what this is it's just i guess spend my days off with me vlog but thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye